Hi there, I'm Beth, and today I'm feeling inspired by J Dolls UK and her excitement for these doll sewing books. Jay has been buying sewing pattern books made by Weena Kanya Plankamol, known as Poppy W or Little Amelie. I put all these books on my Amazon wishlist and over the last year or so have been gifted them all. I think they're just wonderful and so inspiring to have in the sewing room. I decided to sew a midi blithe sized pattern today since my poor girl is often overlooked. I've chosen the Sweetie Jumpsuit from Poppy's Casual Wear book. I'll make it using some bright coloured cotton fabrics. I'll try not to show too much but we'll give you the general process of making it. I traced the templates onto paper and then onto my two fabrics. I'll fray check the outlines as directed in the book. Once everything's dried, I'll sit and cut them out neatly. You get such a nice crisp outline with fray check. I thought I'd treat myself to some Japanese snacks. A birthday gift from my husband while I work. And a great big cup of chai tea too. The first snack is a white cream bourbon, a sort of firm cream filled wafer. Very nice. The second one is Ichigo Daifuku, a strawberry filled mochi, very sweet and squishy. I've started the assembly with the decorative pocket flaps and will then sew the collar. I've ironed the pocket flaps, collar and cuff pieces too. Now I'll join the bodice at the shoulders. I'm cutting little slits in the seam allowance of the arms. And next I'll attach the cuffs. I like how she does these. They're sewn to the wrong side of the fabric, then they're flipped to the right side, top stitched and covering the seam completely. Here are my cuffs, looking lovely and neat. I'll mark the centre and will then insert both the sleeves. There we go, they've also been ironed and the seam is top stitched. Next I'll make the pockets, starting with the front lining. I'll flip these round and top stitch. That's them both done and I'll hand stitch on the back lining pieces next. It's already looking cute with all these details. Now I attach the fronts of the shorts to the bodice fronts. There. Now I'll join the shorts at the back and then attach that to the bodice back. Okay, now I'll baste the collar in place and overlay the collar facing piece. This is then sewn all round, including the fly part of the shorts front. I'll pop the faux pockets on now, facing up, then they'll be flipped down. Now I've snipped the collar curve and will turn the facing through to the inside. I'll give it an iron too. Now I can close up the sides and top stitch across the waistline. 
that's done and I've also hemmed the legs of the shorts. So the tiny centre front of the shorts and then open out the legs to sew the curve of the crotch. I've turned it right way out and I really like how she does the fly front, very neat. I've looked out tiny buttons to sew on. These ones hold down the faux pockets. Next, I'm going to follow her instructions for embroidering details onto the pockets and collar. Once the embroidery is done, I sew on a snap fastening. Alright, let's give her something new to wear at last. I do like the dress I made her before, but she wants something brighter for spring. That fits really easily. It's maybe a smidge big in the top, but it looks perfect. I really enjoyed sewing this. Her instructions are nice and clear, and there's a lot of detail packed in, which makes it look super special, especially at this small scale. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this little jumpsuit come together. Check out the Little Amelie channel if you haven't yet. I'm not sponsored or anything, I just like it. Please leave a like, a comment and consider subscribing to see more sewing. Take care, see you next time. Bye!